Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher 3 Blind. I'm still playing Find the Ladder. There we go. I'm Circle Master, and I guess I'm doing this instead of looking for uh, Dandelion right now. But hey, that's fine. Oh, Bart. Not a... Bart, stop that. Now. Bart, man. Bart makes Ziggy lose, Jonathan. Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bart, hard. Bart, less thinky. Bart, less thinky. Bart, Sadler. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it, until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Jorfun, go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold, and all the lighter stuff, and you will help me get it back. Pretty sure that was Dandelion. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart? No. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Jorfun. Oh, God. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Oh no. Boom. Hole. Yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. What go? But look, no. Only sleep. Bad shoes. Head full. That's why he was asking about the fungus, I guess. So Dandelion could knock out... The troll, or whatever guards. Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But. But. Troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, you hold. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Jorfun, gone. Bart, troll. Now, now, stiff up a lip. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Big... This like... I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. 
Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox fonts, thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Makes sense. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that pop's antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life here. Yay, a new recipe. You know what to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty bolt's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Alright. is called out. You got yourself into it. Wow. Okay, that was weird. Right, did I like actually take the antidote or not? I don't think I did. I don't want unequip, I want to drink it. Why did I have to unequip it to drink it? Oh, and I thought witcher's potions were vile. Pipe's great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Blast tore it from the wall. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of it? Bits of pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. Fine grating. Couldn't push much through that. Do, do, do. Look at all this stuff. Right, I can't jump while in Witcher Vision. Take that. Hmm. Definitely came through here. Hey, a dead person. Oh, it's that guy. Dijkstra didn't mention anyone else. Must be one of Dandelion's crew. And vomit everywhere. Guess he has the antidote too. Couldn't keep it down anywhere than the other guy. Need to burn the corpses. Otherwise, Dwanners will never stop congregating. Yet another shiny bubble. No, get I want the thing. Now where'd that other guy's body go? Maybe now the drenals will go feed elsewhere. No, I hit the thing to loot. Thank you. Hmm, bottom of a container. Silver cylinder, most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. 
It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. Smells like wyvern oil and caramel. That'd be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra. I mean, there's freaking stairs up right here. Oh, still. There's clear signs that that's the egress. Why not continue following? See where it comes out. Etc. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? I did the thing. Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Found a second corpse, one of the thieves. Threw up the antidote just like your man Fonz. A beautiful death. Anything on the body? Not much. Empty vial. Hmm. Wouldn't have left him behind if he was anybody. Common porter, must be. Knew nothing, means nothing. Dead end. Literally. Oh, that was... Okay. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. All right. You inspect the pools on the right. I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Well, I guess I know... I guess I know a level up. I guess I know which side pool's gonna be. Can't do anything now. Yes, I get it. That's the wrong way. Silver lid matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah, bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four. And bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen. Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertel Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Impossible? Why? Old coat's been eating dirt since last winter. 
couldn't have been here the day of the breaking. He's dead. I'd not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. You could be a little nicer, but I'm not about to bring that up because I would just get a quip in return. So off I go. To get caught on every single object that I possibly can. Blaine. Oh, I'm supposed to obliterate the door. There. Gods, you see? What you doing? Did I hang the wash or not? Footprints. Footprints in loot. Thank you much. Oh, I missed some loot. Silver cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. Yeah, there seems to be some weird bug where the Witcher Sense doesn't turn off when I release right click. Oh, we've got some books. I'm not really going to read them. I'm gonna read them to see if there's a thing that I get for it, but like not like actually read everything. Cause reading takes time and also makes my head hurt. A letter. And a bottle. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or Ceres. Were they born in the same year? Yes, it's a thing. Let me do the thing to the thing. Got a door symbol. See, it's not that. Oh, do I have to, like, actually put this thing back in the thing? Jeez. Satisfying click in the next room over, I think. Now then, probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. The heck happened to the bed? Stain. Wyvern oil. I guess Wyvern oil happened to the bed. Instructions on how to build a bomb, signed by one Kalkstein. Sugar, and lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium? Looks like they made the bomb here. Stain. No, I wanted to loot the thing. Right, thank you. Done. Moving on. Ooh, new gloves. Something that might actually be worthwhile. Siri, Menge is following me. 
Okay. He's the treasure. He has dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. Well, I mean, there was the guy screaming about uh, these before. So, due to the shapeshifter planted the bomb, I don't know what possible role Dandelion may have played in this. Hey, Triss! I to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb, I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Merigo. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt. How can I... This... Yeah, this is all... Fake. He's making this up. I don't get it. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. Know you well enough to know what matters. Results. So I lied. Still say I can lead you to I didn't realize that was just a fucking line. You just pulled. I'd sooner believe a whore who proclaimed her undying love. Would you believe a sorceress who stands to gain if you get your coin back? Perhaps. I'd still prefer the whore, though. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. Yeah, it's not all in the past. I'm not saying that. You're using us. Using you? Never. Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. I mean, it's a smart play on his part. Not gonna lie there. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we... You know. Could have corrected him yourself. True. But it's not an easy thing to say, is it? But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. That, that's really a bad look for you. Just FYI. The hood up. No good. You know what else is no good? The fact that this episode's coming to an end. Oh, jeez. Was not expecting that. 
<laughs> but anyway, I'm going to end things here. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, take care.